What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Rays. Well, they all had us fooled, didn't they? Right from the very beginning when we thought that Tessa was... Hey, we almost forgot to say spoiler alert! If you haven't watched the movie, this video will include some very juicy spoilers, so consider yourselves warned. Anywho, where were we? Ah, uh, yes. We were talking about the beginning when Tessa didn't go to the lake to meet Harden, and it was all in his head. And this moment didn't even break the top 10 most interesting of the entire movie. That's why we've decided to look at the 10 most paused after we collided moments. Let's dive right in, shall we? Number 10. Tessa groping Harden after the party. Tessa betrayed and Harden heartbroken. That's how the second installment of After actually began. Tessa immediately threw herself at work while Harden was trying to get her to forgive him. He sent her so many texts, but she never answered. What did she do instead? She threw herself at work. With the new internship at Vance Publishing, she instantly caught the eye of the CEO when she managed to complete all the assignments she was given. After which, he took Tessa and the other team members to a party. Needless to say, she got hammered there and called Harden while completely wasted. And you know what Harden did? Don't you? He figured out her location and went to the hotel room where she was staying. Then he grabbed her and went to town. The nudity was not excluded. Number 9. The Morning After They Collided Why did we choose this scene? Because we got to see Harden, aka Hero Fianus Tiffin, buck naked. This was the morning after the two had their little drunk fun. With both of them sleeping peacefully, Tessa was woken up by the phone. She needed to be in the lobby in 5 minutes. Being completely naked, she took all the sheets she could as she stormed out of bed and ravaged the hotel room. When she finally found her clothes, she immediately put her underwear on, while Harden was calling her back to bed. When she snapped at Harden because she was in a hurry, he jumped out of bed and we got to see that gorgeous muscular body with all the tats once again. Even though Tessa didn't want to look at him, we sure appreciated seeing that Adonis-like body again. Number 8. Trevor Steals the Spotlight What do you mean, movie rays? Well, Tessa was not alone at the party. Another coworker that was there with her was Trevor. After the party, Tessa and Trevor got back to their hotel rooms, and this was after Tessa called Harden. The two spent the night talking, but Tessa was drunk and clumsy. This translated into smashing that like button if you haven't done so already. But in reality, it translated into spilling red wine all over Trevor's clothes. Feeling sorry and wanting to right her wrong, Tessa asked him to take off his clothes so she can clean them, and that's when we got to see the Dylan Sprouse's naked. Although he did have undies on, we still got to enjoy the view. But he didn't really enjoy it. Why? Because that's when Harden walked in the door, saw him half naked in a hotel room with Tessa, and went right at him. Thankfully, she stopped him before he did anything stupid. Number 7. Harden Falling on Ice Not being able to wish her a happy birthday because of the breakup, Harden did the next best thing. He offered Tessa a coupon. That's not very romantic, now is it? On the contrary, this coupon gave Tessa the ability to choose what they do for an entire day, without any of Harden's complaints. This made for some pretty funny moments in the movie, as they went to an ice skating park. Tessa thought it would be romantic, but she didn't know Harden had never skated in his life. He couldn't walk 5 feet on the ice without breaking his behind, and they left seeing the macho and tough Harden beaten by a block of ice. Number 6. Tessa's Yoga Day What did Tessa decide to do on their big day? She took Harden to a yoga class. Just imagine a macho guy like Harden doing yoga. Yeah? Needless to say, this made for some pretty funny scenes in the movie, especially when he found out that this was not the beginner class that they thought it would be. It was actually a class for advanced yoga. This meant that Tessa and Harden would be messing around during the entire class because they couldn't really do all those advanced yoga positions. And you know Harden. When he saw Tessa in tights, the only thing he could think about was her behind. And that's exactly why he started making dirty jokes and got Tessa all turned on. Number 5. The Steamy Hot Shower 
After the sweaty yoga session, they came back to the apartment where Tessa jumped in the bathroom to take a hot shower. Hardin didn't want to miss any of the fun, so he immediately joined her. And this was one of the hottest scenes in the entire movie, literally and figuratively. They were so eager to get at each other that the shower head was running while their clothes were still on. That's no way to take a shower now, is it? So they began stripping each piece of clothing on their bodies, all while passionately kissing under the steamy shower. And you can pretty much bet people pause this part like crazy. Then passionately kissing and their naked bodies intertwined with one another was just another reason to slow down this moment. Number 4. A Little Office Fun And as you can see, this was not the only time they both did it. Well, you know what, they didn't really do it in the shower. The phone rang and Tessa was called to babysit for her boss. After the babysitting session was over, Tessa and Hardin got to enjoy a little alone time at the office. Hardin got to finish what they started in the shower without any interruptions. Tessa was afraid that someone might walk in, but Hardin ensured her that there was no one in the building. Finally, they had the entire company to themselves. Still turned on from the shower, Hardin reached in and took off Tessa's panties, and then his own boxers came off. This hot scene ended with both of them doing it in Tessa's new office. Number 3. The Little Pinky Slides Down We told you this movie is a bit pretty steamy. This scene happened after Tessa and Hardin got together for one last time in the hotel room, and a few days later, Tessa came back to the apartment to get her stuff. Right as she was about to walk out of there, Hardin came in with his mother. She immediately hugged Tessa and was completely oblivious that the two split up. Since she didn't know they broke up, she insisted Tessa spend the night so they can properly celebrate her birthday and talk a little. Hardin and I stayed with Lance for a few years when Ken and I broke up. Really? Yeah. Hardin never mentioned that. Tessa was hesitant but finally agreed. That night, when Tessa and Hardin went to bed, they thought they could restrain themselves from sex. Just as they were talking, Hardin naturally caressed her hair, and then her shoulder, and finally his hand slid down to her belly. And his pinky was slowly making its way to her panties, to which Tessa had no objections. Guess Hardin should have slept on the couch after all. Number 2. Celebrating New Year's And now we come to the hottest scene in the entire movie. This is the last of the hot scenes, so as you can see, this movie is filled with them. At the New Year's Eve party, Tessa had a little too much to drink. She then started playing truth or dare with Molly, and things went south from there. Molly constantly provoked Tessa, and she had enough of her. After Tessa took her down and gave her a pretty good bashing, Hardin broke off the fight and took Tessa upstairs, carrying her over his shoulder. He took her upstairs and they were both pretty turned on. While everyone was celebrating the new year, these two were taking off clothes as fast as they could. And this wasn't like the previous scenes. This one had some pretty explicit moments as they were both naked and doing it while the guys downstairs were counting down until midnight. Number 1. The Crash Now unlike the previous funny and quote unquote exciting scenes, this one is pretty serious. In fact, it's one of the earth-shattering scenes in the entire movie. Near the end of the movie, Tessa was trying to reach Hardin on his cell while driving. When he didn't pick up, Tessa threw the phone on the passenger seat and the phone fell on the floor. On the middle of the road, her phone rang. It was Hardin. She thought she could reach it while waiting for the traffic light to turn green. But she couldn't. The traffic light turned green and the other car started honking at her. She was holding up traffic. Just as she started moving, another car crashed into her new Toyota. Our hearts stopped. We couldn't believe it. And we kept rewinding the movie to see if she was injured or not. Luckily, we later found out that she walked away with minor injuries. And on that note, we end this video. But hey, which of these moments did you actually pause yourself? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys!